What is OBS? OBS stands for Open Broadcaster Software, and it is a free, open source, live video production software that can live stream and record video and audio. OBS is supported by a large community of developers from around the world. What is OBS used for? OBS can be used for live video production, live streaming, and video recording. When you first download and install OBS, a setup wizard will ask you if you would like to optimize the software for recording or live streaming because it has the ability to mix together many different audio and video sources into a live video production environment. OBS also supports many plugins which can extend its functionality to include features such as NDI support, VST plugins, and Stream Deck controls. Where can you download OBS? You can download OBS for free at obsproject.com. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux computer systems. At obsproject.com, you can also read the blog where you can learn great tips for using OBS. OBSproject.com includes helpful guides in the help section and a user support forum where you can post questions. If you've liked this video so far, hit that like button. It helps us know that the content we are making you find useful. What is an OBS plugin? OBS plugins are used to extend the functionality of OBS by adding custom code written to do specific tasks. The most popular OBS plugin adds supports for NDI, which is an IP video production protocol. Another popular plugin is called Virtual Cam, which allows you to take any video inside of OBS and connect it to another camera input via a virtual webcam source. This is great for pumping video from OBS into applications like Zoom or Skype. Other popular plugins include a remote control for OBS, which provides an IP server to control OBS remotely, and the PTZ Optics OBS plugin, which allows you to control multiple PTZ cameras directly inside of OBS. How can I add cameras and microphones into OBS? OBS organizes all audio and video sources into scenes. In this way, you can create custom scenes with a variety of layouts to display all of your audio and video sources. Start by selecting a scene to put your video and audio sources in. Then click the plus button in the sources area to select a media type. Select the type of audio and video source you would like to add into OBS. Next, you can give these sources a name. You may be asked to adjust the source properties before adding the source into your production. Additional audio sources can be added to OBS in the settings area under the audio tab. If you're still watching this video, hit that subscribe button. We are going to keep making awesome videos and you will get notifications on the latest stuff when you subscribe. How can I record a video with OBS? Once your OBS system is set up, you can record videos with OBS using the start recording button in the lower right hand corner. You can monitor your video in the main OBS window and you can monitor the audio using the audio mixers level. You can configure the video recording settings and recording location in the settings area inside of the output tab. The video bitrate is used to set the video quality of your recording. By default, this is set to 2500 kilobits per second, but you may want to increase this number to 10,000 kilobits per second in order to increase your video recording quality. You can also choose a recording format and recording folder to store your videos in this area. How how can I live stream with OBS? Once your OBS system is all set up, you can use the start streaming button to stream video from OBS to a content delivery network like Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. You can configure the stream destination in the settings area of the stream tab. Services such as Twitch, 
YouTube, and Facebook can all be connected to using your account login information. You can also click the custom button to enter a custom server and stream key into the live streaming area. This is particularly useful for live streaming to scheduled live streams. Once you have configured the streaming destination settings, OBS will live stream to this destination when you click the start streaming button. How can I learn more about OBS? The Stream Geeks offer an unofficial guide to open broadcaster software. This book is available for free via a PDF copy on the streamgeeks.us homepage. This book is also available in a paperback version on amazon.com. Finally, there is a complete online course that goes with the book that you can take on Udemy. The links will all be in the video description below. Also, we now have a basics of live streaming guide that you can download to get up to speed on all the latest live streaming technology. Download that guide at streamgeeks.us slash basics. Finally, let us know what you want to learn about in the comments below. We are expanding our Back to Basics video catalog and your idea could be the next project that we take on.